What's up YouTube? So it's been extremely windy the last few days and it's still pretty windy. Hopefully it's not affecting the audio right now. Um, this is as calm as it's been and like I said like two three days now. I just got back from market. I'm exhausted but I figured since it's not as crazy windy I might as well get an update video done since I'm already like a week and a half late. So anyways I'm gonna try and keep it quick but a lot has changed as usual like I normally say. Um, but I'm not going to show you the entrance garden just because really, aside from some lettuce going to seed, everything else is the same, a little bigger. Um, but anyways, since the last video, I've cropped out a bunch, I've replanted a bunch, and stuff's grown a bunch. So here it is. Hope you like it. All right. so. All of these Tropicana heads of lettuce, um, they, well first I guess, out of nowhere we got really high temperatures and it was really humid and it just made a whole bunch of stuff bolt. The days are getting longer so that also encourages it. But anyways, these heads of lettuce, they started going to seed. This like quarter of the garden, as far as this row goes along the fence, um, they did amazing, so I really want to save seed from them. Um, I'm going to do a ton of that lettuce next year, so I will try and do a seed saving video with these guys and some of the lettuce that I'm saving in the entrance garden. Um, but yeah, those are those. Parsley has filled out really well, it looks amazing. Um, I've been selling so much of that, and I really think it's going to go well. Depending if pest pressure becomes a problem, I think it'll last fairly well into the summer. We shall see, though. Um, but I think I did broccoli. Honestly, I can't remember if I did broccoli or cauliflower, so it's going to be kind of a surprise. Um, for this row with lettuce in the middle, again, these are those Tropicana with uh, what is it? L uh, red wavy Lola Rosa something or other. Same thing I did on the fence line but I pulled the red ones out. Arugula is doing good. It's probably going to get cropped out in probably two, maybe three weeks. Still harvesting some out of it. Mizuna, same deal. Um, Salanova lettuce. All of my lettuces, even if I planted them a month apart, they've all caught up to each other. The days are getting longer. Stuff's growing super fast. Um, but I've got lettuce coming out of my ears selling a bunch of that. Uh, some of that is actually probably going to bolt before I can get to it, but it is what it is. Um, this radish bed is now a, uh, whatever that stuff is called, um, <laughs> long day, Swiss chard. Uh, cropped all the radishes out, Swiss chard took its place. That was interplanted two or three weeks ago. Um, it's doing really good, maybe four weeks ago. Uh, this wind isn't too bad. Okay, so I tried to take a little bit of a break for the wind, but uh, the white Russian kale with a row of lettuce down the middle is doing really good. Um, as I'm walking past, not much has changed with the seed starting area. Um, I've neglected them, kind of. They're, they've been in the trays for quite a while. Um, a lot of stuff needs to go out, but I might I've had so much going on, um, but I'm getting there. Hopefully this week it'll all be planted, but I did pass these guys. Uh, this is all asparagus, and they look really good. Um, these were all grown from seed by Jim, and he gave them to me, I don't know, like three or four weeks ago, but I potted them up into this. He just had them in a cell flat, and this is all new growth. I cut all the greens from the way they were when he gave them to me. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, just a little bigger and a little more root bound. Um, this is all basil. I'm going to pop my basil up and instead of planting it and selling bunches of basil, what I think I'm going to do, because I don't, I'll plant some for myself um, and maybe some to sell at market uh, as, as bunches, but we'll see. Um, I still got a couple more trays to sow, but I'm going to pot that tray up into the three or four inch pots, grow them up to they're about six inches to eight inches tall, and sell them for like five bucks a pot at market. And I know they're gonna sell really well. And if they don't, then I plant them. 
um, or just cut them and sell them as bunches. We'll see. Um, this is all peppers, first round of peppers, uh, second round of peppers, there to there, and then second round of tomatoes. A lot of these guys are getting sold at market. All of these peppers are going to get transplanted out into the garden once they're a little bigger and once I have some more space. Um, where was I? That bed was all spinach. Now it's got one row of lacinato kale. We'll see how it does. It's getting hotter. Um, pest pressure and alternaria problems are going to start spiking soon with the heat and humidity. So we'll just see how that goes. But I'm going to interplant or outer plant since it's on the outer edges of the bed. Something there, hopefully this week. Um, this row of romaine, four rows of romaine in there, um, that was all radishes with the romaine interplanted about two or three weeks before the radishes were cropped out. Um, there used to be salanova on the edge of this bed with napa in the middle. Salanova's gone, harvested that. Um, these two beds, have always been lettuce and bunching onion since the beginning of the season back in September. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just gonna put lettuce back in there again. Uh, four different types of mustard, doing good, getting big. A um, little bit of alternaria damage, but I've gotta go through and I'll probably harvest the majority of this for the Tasty Tuesday market and then go through and thin the plants out every eight inches or so. I don't know, we'll see what I end up doing. Um, I say that now, but we'll see. Carrots, these were direct seeded. When were they direct seeded? Back in November, and they stayed super tiny through the winter because not a lot of daylight hours, so they didn't grow much. And then as soon as that daylight starts increasing, they took off. Um, this is a bed of hot soy on the edge with pok choy in the middle. Most of the pok choy is already harvested and cropped out, so it's just the last of them. Um, whatever's left will go to market on Tuesday, and then I've got to clean up that hot soy. There's some alternaria damage again. This wind is not giving up. Um, anyways, this right over here is all hockeri turnips. That bed has struggled from the beginning. I'm honestly not sure what the heck the deal is. Um, I'm going to end up cropping that out pretty soon, just haven't done it. Um, Salanova, that was planted in my compost tea video, uh, so it's been a few weeks, looks great. Uh, the Pompel uh, specialty onion in the middle is doing good, it's growing really well. It is getting some kind of, I want to say it's some kind of fungal problem. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is what it is again. Um, just planted this yes, no, the day before yesterday. Uh, this is two rows of arugula and two rows of mizuna in four bed, in one bed, four rows in a bed. We'll see how it does in the same bed like that. I really don't need a full bed of mizuna or a full bed of arugula, so I figured do I, I'd do half a bed like that. Like I said, see how it does. Beets are doing good. Um, what do we have here? purple pak choy with radishes. They're doing good. Cropped out most of those radishes. Didn't crop them out, but used them at market. Collards, they're growing like crazy. I'm wondering if they'll ever stop. Um, we'll see how they do through the summer, but uh, I got another bed of collards planted just in case this one starts to fail on me. This spinach, same thing with the carrots over there. Um, planted it I don't remember when I planted it, like probably January 1st or something close to that. I can't really see the tag from here. Um, super Stayed super small, starting to grow. I uh, amended this bed again with some azomite and some harmony just to give it a little boost and encourage it to start pumping out some new leaves. That was three or four days ago. It's already putting out new growth. But in the meantime, I sowed radishes in between those rows and that'll actually shade the shade the um, spinach out a little bit and that little bit of competition I'm pretty sure will help encourage the spinach which is already the dominant compared to the radishes that haven't germinated to get growing and fight the radishes so they can be more productive and outcompete them. Um, so we'll see how that goes, keep you posted. Um, fennel and bunching onion, doing good, harvested a ton out of it and there's still so much left. Uh, 
they're just doing good. Fennel doesn't really sell too much at market here for some reason. Couldn't grow enough in Washington, but I mean, it sells, don't get me wrong. And the juice lady in Newport Ritchie, she loves it, but she can only use so much and my uh, clientele at market only consume so much apparently. Um, but I am gonna pickle a bunch and see how that comes out. Carrots, doing really good. Got, I don't know, a little over half a bed left. And then this will probably last me a few more weeks of market. And then there's probably gonna be a break in between the carrots at market at least. Um, Tokyo Bucana, that's doing really well. That's all gonna be harvested as heads. And some of it might be left to do the rapini, like broccoli-like stuff. Um, so we'll see how that does. And this is that bed of collard greens. They're doing good, radishes in the middle. Carrots, radishes in between. Napa cabbages doing okay. I'm dealing with fire ants on this half of the bed, like really bad. And they really love both the Tokyo Bacana and Napa cabbage. Um, the fire ants actually over there in the entrance garden have destroyed most of the stuff. That's another reason why there's no sense in showing you. A lot of that's cropped out. Um, 13 rows of carrots doing really well. There's some patchy spotches patchy spots um, throughout this bed just nutrient problems over time that'll be balanced out not too worried about it um, and salanova this was all spinach but again the fire ants just ate it all in like a week it was crazy and then all these nice flowers is all of my cilantro which does not like the heat so it's going to seed Probably going to save seed from that. And then bunching onion. A lot of that is regrowth. A lot has changed in the centropic area over here. Like a lot, a lot. One thing that you may have noticed is I had to put up my electric fencing. This is all the electric fencing I had in Washington keeping my chickens in. And I stuck it up around this area just to try and keep the armadillos out. But Apparently isn't working because one got in here last night after I blasted one last week. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to stay up one night and get the second one because they are so destructive. They've destroyed so many beds and so many plants and just unearthed so many weed seeds and they're just driving me insane. I can't take it anymore. The armadillos need to go. Um, I've set traps, I've corralled their holes and funneled them into a trap. They just dig out another way, like they'll come, they'll dig another tunnel and pop up out of the ground without ever going in the trap, it's, they're driving me nuts. Um, but anyways, armadillos are gonna go, at least from here. They can move to the neighbors, I don't care, but that's up to them. Anyways, Salanova here is doing good. That romaine that's been getting mowed down by rabbits and squirrels for months now. I'm pretty sure I planted that back in early December. I don't have a tag here with me, but yeah, that, that's been in the ground for quite a while. And it's normally been just mowed to a stump consistently. Um, that's growing back really well. Day length is helping, plus this little uh, fence is helping. Just set this new trellis up uh, three days ago. This is all gonna be for my Cherokee Trail of Tears beans. I've been saving seed from those for probably, let's see, eight, going on nine years since I was gifted five seeds. I've grown them every year, um, with the exception of one or two years maybe. And yeah, I've accumulated quite a bit of seed. So I planted a whole 75 foot row of them they will make the most incredible wall and it's gonna look so good and I can't wait because last year I didn't grow them and they're my favorite green bean um, but I'm gonna save a ton of seed from these and I'll probably be selling them both online and at market and wherever else you can get the seed but like yeah you can get the seed from a lot of different seed companies now but it wasn't popular back when I got it but 
anyways I've just got some like some uh what's the word anyways I'm kind of attached to my beans okay um anyways this bed of spinach is doing really good now day length is really helping out again just like that other bed it was super small for a while this was planted maybe a month prior to that other bed um, but it's growing now fire ants aren't too bad out here sorry I had to take a break the wind um, fire ants aren't too bad out here so spinach is still alive thankfully I've got a lot of people asking for spinach I almost can't grow enough um, I interplanted cucumbers down the center of this bed I'm gonna put another net trellis just like that up and do the cucumbers up a net but then in between each cucumber I've got a tray of cuca melons Mex Mexican sour gherkins they're gonna go in there so once the cucumbers kind of phase out for the summer the cuca melons are gonna take over and it'll be a nice long hedge of those guys I love those and they're so good pickled um, and I can also sell them by the pint at uh, the markets in the summer more bulb fennel because I was told people want it and then it doesn't sell so there's more bulb fennel if anybody wants some um, Mizuna harvested a bunch of this and arugula down there that's on its way out I will do bunches of arugula blossoms because that's really good they're super great to add to a salad um, then this bed right here half of it is daikon radish and the other half is like a watermelon radish or a red meat radish they're doing good 75 foot bed of salanova the armadillo destroyed the end of it i had to move all the plants and get them lined back up they're kind of stunted but they're slowly coming back same thing happened up front here um this bed of mizuna just like that other one over there and arugula uh, I never amended this bed and I just direct seeded into it and then I forgot to amend it after it germinated which is what I planned on doing but that didn't happen so it sat like this and it should all be about this big and that big and the arugula isn't too affected down there but the Mizuna apparently is really affected by the I want to say it's the manure that we put down um, but it also could be the compost either or they're not the greatest um, but I amended this and just ran the tine rake over it to kind of work it into the soil and it's already perking back up like before you really couldn't see those rows um, but they're gaining some green again I'm gonna put a batch of my compost tea down on it a lot later this week I'm also gonna do a compost tea video of how to use it I know it's been quite a while since I said I would initially do that um, just one haven't had time and two I've been selling so much compost tea it's really great but it's kind of hard to get some of the ingredients and I'm in the process of getting more so I also didn't want like a ton of sales all at once and for me to run out and have to tell people to hold on but like I said I will be doing a compost tea video soon so with that in mind I'll be able to sustain the demand as far as I can see at least more Tokyo Bacana and then these are probably my two favorite rows all tomatoes there's 140 tomatoes here I'm probably gonna plant another I don't know 80 probably do all my brandy wines and then sell the rest of them out of that second batch over in the nursery section but Love these trellises. I think I'm gonna do a video just on the trellises. I've had a lot of people ask about them already through like the Instagram stories, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my trellises. All the tomatoes are just gonna be trained up a single string, a single string as a single stemmed plant. They're planted about I don't know 14 inches apart or so, and then just using tomato clips to contain them and guide them up the string but anyways that is the update on the garden and I mean aside from that markets have been pretty good not too bad at least 
Um, today was really slow at the Trinity Market, but hopefully that picks up. Hopefully I get to see some of you guys out there, and if not, I'll see you in the comments, at least, I guess. But, anyways, I'm going to call it a day. I'm whooped. Um, happy gardening. God bless. And, uh... I'll see you in the next video.